coming up on this episode of Valley Boys. I'm trying to just hit a ball and just run around the bases really fast. Down! Hey! Thomas Keller. I think today I'm going to play third. Our pitcher's not here, so I might pitch. He said he's going to be here six minutes before game time with the starting pitcher. Well, you know, I'm a star. But we're too good for this league. Got to do whatever I want. I think we turn up the douche factor. That ball hit to left field. Maybe gets out of Dodger Stadium. My boy Andy! Yeah, baby! There was some dog on the field. Really disrespectful to the game, I'll be honest. I just look over, I just see Dalmatian nuts and coming out. I'm like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> We might need to get a new bat bag. What is up guys, your boy Steven Kines back at it again. Guys, welcome to game two of the new Valley Boys series. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I've been getting a ton of subscribers lately, so I'm truly thankful. I post Dodger films, Valley Boys, high school and college baseball content. Dude, a lot gets put into these videos. Literally edited for like six days straight on this one. So make sure you guys like this video. Turn on post notifications so you guys are ready for the next one. Follow the boys at Valley Boys LA and me at Steven Kines. And lastly guys, use my code Kines for a Bruce Bolt discount. Repping the freshest BGs in the game. Guys, this video is crazy. A lot of stuff I've never seen at a baseball field happen in this game. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Without further ado, let's head to the field. Alright guys, we are here in the Valley Boys jerseys. Let's go, bro. We got Dante in the house, bro. Let's go. Uh, we are back again, coming to you with harder content. <laughs> Yo, what? You're uh, skipping out on EDC though, bro? What's EDC? Electric Daisy Carnival. It's like a whole rave. Wait, yeah. why aren't you there? I spent all my money on both Coachella weekends. I'm missing out on EDC. My boy Alex there, you know my- I know, bro. That's my man crush. He skipped out, bro. Alec, he's not here, he didn't take me. Move. I'm depressed, but it's okay. Like, we keep it rolling. I'm gonna see my boy when we get back. Goals for today, I'm trying to just uh, hit a ball in that left center gap and just run around the bases really fast. Shout out Dante though, man, he clutched it up. I would be on the biggest bender right now at EDC. <laughs> we got uh, the boy Thomas Keller up in the- Valley Boys. Up in the house, bro. Dude, repping the Valley Boys jersey for the first time, dude? You gotta... Of course, I'm honored. Thomas Keller, number 15. I I just got done playing college baseball in Nebraska, so this is quite the next step. How'd you perform? Like, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> okay. Hey, what time are we taking BP? Uh, BP? <laughs> yeah. When are we taking pregame? <laughs> Probably take it right now. We don't got our starting pitcher yet, so maybe we should hold off on that. I think today I'm gonna play third. Our pitcher's not here, so I might pitch. My boy TK, me and him, went to high school, same class together. It's my boy. If I can stay healthy and we can win, it'll be a pretty good day. You know, Steve, what time have we got to get back? Guys, uh, it's 12:40 right now. I feel like we have more guys than than their side, so I feel like we're okay. I don't, I don't know if we can pan to how many guys they have. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, I feel like we're okay. We're probably outmatching a little bit, but... We can do a ghost runner. It's cool. Ghost runner and like wiffle ball rules. You ready to pitch again? <laughs> Hopefully I don't pitch, because last time, last time was low rep. <laughs> Jake, bro, you trying to like warm up or something, dude? I guess. You gotta do something. I mean, got half the team here. Big game. Getting the season going the right way. Dude, Jake's debut too, bro. No pressure. Jake Bear playing short today, number 29. Played a couple of years at New Mexico State. Now I'm a Sunday League guy, I guess. We'll all have to put on for the guys who aren't here. Hey, we got my dad. I got the emergency cleats on just in case. Got a couple no-shows maybe. Bro, that's what he had to do had last to game. Up. Had to clean up. We got Mitch, let's go. What's up, baby? Oh, yeah. We got our starting oh, catcher. Yes. <laughs> my expectations today is get a dub. What's up? Is there any other expectations ever? Bro, we got my boy Andy Reyes, dude. Today, man. He's not used to swinging uh, metal bats for Sunday League. Oh, well, it might be scary. Third baseman might want to back up a little bit. Bro. <laughs> hey, my boy Andy's here. He's uh, probably going to put a ball on the soccer field right now. I'm just, uh, it's like that man's here. Hey, we got Uncle Slam pulling up. Let's go, bro. What's up, guys? Straight from Dodger Films? Yes, sir. Car trouble? Yeah, dude, we broke <laughs> down, dude. It was scary, bro. Oh, I thought man. we wouldn't be able to make it, but we're here. Everything's Let's go, good, so bro. Let's go. Just got off the phone with Leo. He said he's going to be here six minutes before game time with the starting pitcher. You know, I guess they had a long night last night. He stole my cigars last night because he got too drunk at my place, and then now he's showing up late. Guys, it's a middle of the day game. It's not even a morning game. Shout out Leo. He said he's going to park in the red. Parking traffic person. If you're watching this, uh, I never said that. Beefing with everybody that's not here. That canceled uh, 15 minutes before game time. A shout out to Simon Zolas. You know, it's tough when uh, they go out the night before a Sunday league game, but got to work with what we got, man. All right, Thomas, it's 1240. Where's everybody at? So the thing is with baseball, we're going to need nine guys. Right now, I think we're about 50% there. Oh my gosh. We got about 10, 15 minutes to the first pitch. Yep. And we're the home team. So starting pitcher is going to have to come right from the car, right to the mound, I think. I guess. Uh, we might need extra players. Comment down below if you'd ever want to play with us. Back again. Happy to be here. As happy as I am to be 
here. Uh, I noticed that all of the newbies, they're all hitting before me, even though, you know, I was the best Kinez in the field last time. So, you know, Nikki, to everybody's surprise, it's been, what, six years? He actually out hit me. You know, that hurts. I am embarrassed and I need to just do better. Hey, man. What's up? You're coming in kind of late, dude. Well, you know, I'm a star, so I gotta do whatever I want. Yeah. Didn't steal a cigar, was gifted a cigar. Uh, it was an expensive I'll be, I'll cigar. He told me to choose one, and it was a Cuban, and I said, I don't give a crap if it's your grandfather. Hey, we got like four minutes before you. All right, know. let's go. <laughs> yeah, Starting pitcher, bro. Good, Come on. Get on. Get on. Good. 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 Still. <laughs> He's still drunk, bro, to be honest. Oh, my. Oh. All right, we got, we got a jersey for you, bro. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> he may have been uh, consuming certain beverages last night. Hey, Judge in the building. You know, let's see if we we got the right one. His name happens to be Andrew Judge. It's not uh, not Aaron Judge, but he's gonna pitch. So I, I guess we're gonna see how it goes, bro. We got Thomas in the reserves. I'll be honest, Leo, you smell like alcohol, man. I smell like alcohol? <laughs> uh, I'm not <laughs> We're all marching to our impending death. Sometimes I like to take a few back, kind of think about my life. Yeah, right? We're recording, right? What? It's fine. Yeah, yeah, are you uh, good, by the way? Like spreading oh, Not really. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, maybe just take it on the field, then. All right. Yeah. Baseball's a very depressing yeah. game anyway. Seven yeah, out of ten. Hit a home run, maybe. Yeah. I'll hit a bomb, dude. Sorry, man. Just stay. We got Andrew Judge. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah. Morning softball. Six. Another day in paradise, huh? Who's this team? Obviously, those guys are going up to each other. Like, hey, man, I, uh, I told you to bring red socks. If you don't bring red socks next week, I'm gonna have to put you on the bench. Okay? Okay, Steve. I told you to bring the red socks. And those aren't the right colors. Okay. That happens on that team. I don't know our team. We got Gio up in here. Game ready. It's a little late, but I'm ready. Dude, right at game time pretty much. It was 10 minutes. A tie ball. I didn't know it was a tie ball. I thought maybe the game started later. What's up, dude? Got four buttons, bro. Three button, four button men for everybody on this game. Thanks, Dad. All right, guys. Looks like uh, looks like we're getting started. It's going to be an awesome game. Make sure you guys stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Let's have fun, dude. Go, Valley Boys on three. One, two, three. Valley Boys! Valley Boys. All right, guys, and just like that, it was game two for the Valley Boys season. We were playing the Soldiers. Andrew Judge came straight from the car to the mound, already started off getting a quick out straight to Thomas. Let's go. Making it look routine. Thomas Keller and Jake Bear making their debuts on the left side for the boys. Then the second batter of the game absolutely barreled this ball over my head in right field. Yeah, I thought I had a beat on it, gave it a good little jump, but knew I had to get the ball in quick. As soon as I got to the ball, I fired it into the cutoff man who fired Fired it back to third base. Thomas with the deke and got him out. He thought he was safe by a mile. Thomas Keller played it casual. And then he blamed the third base coach. Let's go. Ball hit over Steven's head. He comes to me. Got him out of third. And Thomas hit him with a deke. He was acting casual. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> drops the tie. Kind of set the tone for the game. Steven threw made a perfect throw. Jake made a perfect throw to me. I don't know. I kind of just, just stood there and just caught it and tagged him out, so it was kind of fun. <laughs> then Andrew Judge went right back to it, but accidentally plunked a guy right in the ribs. Uh, kind of had to give him a second to breathe, you know, gotta be courteous. Then he rolled up a GB to Dante to get the third out, heading into the bottom of the first. Leading it off for the Valley Boys, Dante Cano skied this ball straight to the center fielder. Meanwhile, Andy Reyes was digging into the box, got plunked in the cheek. He ate that up, didn't even feel a thing. Then a pickoff attempt absolutely backfired and allowed Andy Reyes to move to second base. Meanwhile, back in the dugout, <laughs> We're not at EDC, so we're bringing EDC here. Showing us some acrylics. So while there was a rave going on in the dugout, Jake Bear was getting his timing down. Absolutely barreled two foul balls, but uh, forgot to throw off speed, so ended up passing the torch down to Leo, who then pieced this ball to right field and got the Valley Boys on the board. I got the first RBI of the game again. Nice oppo base hit. Nothing like it, you know? So we got that RBI, then me trying to capitalize, just missed this pitch and skied it to center field like Dante to end the first inning. Then Andrew Judge got in a rhythm, bro. Yeah, he was absolutely dicing up the soul. Soldiers, dotting everybody up, man. It was kind of insane because he had absolutely no warm up. Then he gave up a pop fly to our center fielder to end the inning. How hard is Judge throwing you then? I don't know, dude. Uh, Maybe. It's hard. It's loose as hell, so I'd say 86. Ah, dude. Freaking, you all right? For real? Yeah. Good piece. Yeah. Then to lead off the bottom of the second, Gio got plumped. It's a decent amount of guys getting hit this game. So then Thomas decided to capitalize. Hit a double down the line. Snuck in there. Love to see it. Oh, boy, Thomas! Hi, baby! <laughs> this is what I've been doing at work. I just bring the speaker. I don't talk to any customer. <laughs> bro, we got the speaker. Thomas just hit a double of the seat. We got Dante gonna go sunglasses, bro. Exclusive look right here. <laughs> this is the summer spring look. Then Nikki dunked a base hit into right field. I don't know what happened. I guess the right fielder pulled his hamstring or something. He was hobbling, but that's a base knock scoring two RBI. It's another hit for Nikki. Then Dante got plunked again. Oh, 
Oh boy! Then Andy Reyes came up and hit an absolute barrel. Yeah, that's a Sunday League bomba. Probably gets out at any field that has a fence. Yeah, roll to the tennis courts. That's a shot. Wait, this RBI. Is... RBI, baby. That's You're a triple. Coming, Easy coming triple. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Oh, boy, Andy. Oh, baby. Shit, I mean, I got under it, but I had to say that ball hit to left field. Maybe gets out of Dodger Stadium. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> then it was back on the mound for the untucked wizard. Andrew Judge, he got back-to-back -back strikeouts. Love to see it, man. Dude was looking nasty. Yeah, if you think about it, we were actually witnessing greatness. This guy just rolled out of bed, hopped on the field, no warm-up. The kid was absolutely shoving. You'd think that he had 10 hours of sleep and a nice breakfast, but that wasn't the case. After a Leo base knock, I was feeling locked in, looking to do some damage. <laughs> Yes, oh yeah. And that's exactly what I did, guys. Absolutely destroyed this ball over the center fielder's head. One hop the tennis courts. Yeah, because I have warning track power. But guys, if you want to hit absolute barrels, use Kokinez at Bruce Bolt. Then I slid into third base. Down, down, down. That a baby. That a boy. That a boy. That a boy. Put a charge into a ball, had that nice little triple. Glad I could get a hold of something, man. Then Mitch kept the show rolling, hit a sack fly to score me in, tag it from third. Love to see it. Just as it looked like Gio's gonna get a base knock. The soldier left fielder came sliding in and made a little web gem right there. Okay, okay, let's see this replay. Yes, sir. Textbook slide and uh, tries to minimize some damage. We got Andy. Love this guy on the team and sipping yeah, on a Capri Sun. All of these. All right, that's actually a Capri Sun. We got steroids <laughs> in that Capri Sun, bro. <laughs> all of a sudden, we were back on defense and Judge was still dominating. This kid was dicing up everybody. They hit a GB. Gio had to make a stretch at first base and that he did, bro. A little web gem. Love to see it. Then, guys, this hitter, I don't know why. He just didn't swing man we were all confused i think he just gave up his at bat yeah it was one of the weirdest things i've seen on a baseball field what just happened it's unreal the guy's just like i can't hit him i'm gonna strike out <laughs> just conceded a strikeout because he knew he couldn't hit judge so back on offense we yeah. went and dante got right back to work hit a triple down the line love to see it hustling all the way through he knew he wanted that bag got that pop-up slide he was mic'd up check that out on tiktok at valley boys la so steve mic'd me up for my at bat it just so happened to be the at bat i hit the triple i was just talking the whole time i was running around the base and should be a good clip. The Valley Boys kept it going. Jake got plunked. Leo got a base knock, and I had an infield base hit to keep the boys rolling. Then, guys, a dog came onto the field and started peeing on the helmet bag. Man, we were like, what the heck, dude? Our helmets are gonna stink. And then it started sprinting on the field. We're like, bro, where's your owner and where's the leash? I guess the guy in the yellow shirt was the owner. He's just casually walking while the dog kept on going onto the field. I just look over, I just see Dalmatian nuts and piss coming out. I'm like, <laughs> oh, what's going on? Then I think he took a dump in the right field foul line. Some <laughs> random dog came. That's part of Sunday League Baseball, baby. Yeah, there was some dog on the field, and he was just peeing in the helmet bag. Super weird. We're actually looking for the dog's owner. Really disrespectful to the game, I'll be honest. There was a dog that wasn't leashed that just absolutely like peed all over Steve's bag, and it was pretty tough. We might need to get a new bat bag. With the dog still on the field, Mitch hit an absolute triple into right center, just like last game. Love to see it, baby. Mitch ended up scoring by a geo base knock, and Andrew Judge went back to the mound to close it out. I guess we were winning by a lot, so there was either a time limit or mercy rule. At this point, we just needed Judge to complete his hungover masterpiece as he got them to fly out to Leo, who then felt the need to do a Derek Jeter play at first base. Bounce past the ball back to Andrew Judge. You have no clue why he did that, but with two outs at the top of the fifth, they rolled it up to Jake Bear, and Leo made a crazy pick to end the game. Yeah, the pick was insane. I don't even think he was expecting to dig that out. I made a ridiculously great pick at first base. 36 years old. We'll pass my prime, but guess what? Still got it, looks like. <laughs> and with that play the valley boys came up with the dub let's go 13 to 0 andrew judge complete game shutout we just mercy them i guess they just mercy easy easy work today it was a really fun game i didn't know mercy rule was the thing for adults and yeah we put on for the boys it was a uh, pretty easy game to coach that the boys go out there and play i didn't really have to do anything good day with the boys at the yard back on the field my gosh you guys mercy rolled them you guys absolutely clapped yeah. on the road <laughs> it wasn't even close all right guys we just thought we mercy them guess we went off dude let's go bro <laughs> shout out now Thank you for helping out. Let's two go. Two today, huh? Three for three. Right. Oh, okay. what did you do, Nikki? All right, I got one for three. Oh boy. No strikeouts. Three for three, three every time. People keep underestimating me because I'm at the bottom of the lineup. I'm gonna start at the bottom and then I'm gonna rise to the top. Everybody loves an underdog story. Well, we're too good for this league. Uh, people are gonna start hating us uh, right now. I think we turn up the douche factor. I think next week we have yoga before anyone's even here. That was a great game. Good job. Oh, dude. You almost went yaya today, so. Dude, just like in Dodger films, bro. Yeah. That's like fifth juice box of the day. There's no 
water. Right? <laughs> I love it, bro. I love coming out, playing ball, just having fun, destroying the ball. Stay hot. We're looking good. I can't wait to keep playing. Win more games. We got Regina up in here. Thank you for supporting the Valley Boys. Let's go. Coach Kinez, what are the snack options? Today we got goldfish, granola bar, and Capri Sun. Capri Sun, let's go. Nose up all day. <laughs> Slam, what are you gonna, you gonna have right now? Goldfish? I was just gonna take the whole lunch box, bro, to be honest, bro. But you weren't supposed to know that part, so. My mommy bought me the wrong vitamin water, so I'm a little upset right now, so. We got the Valley Girls supporting, Valley Mom. Valley girl, Valley girl. We're just gonna keep it rolling. I told you, we're coming hard all summer, baby. Moving forward, I think this team's just gonna roll everybody. But hey, we gotta show up, we gotta play the game one day at a time. I think we'll be okay. I'm just proud to rep for the Valley boys, you know, and get a ton of content coming soon. Keep this going week after week. We got any challengers, bring them on. Let's freaking go. Try to climb the Sunday league rankings. Oh, Valley boys, we're gonna take it. We gotta be number one in the power rankings at this point. So we put the league on notice. MVP, judge, for sure. Showed up two minutes before the game. Threw a complete game. I don't think he threw a single pitch with his jersey tucked in. I think that might be the first untucked CG that we've ever seen. Andrew Judge showing up, game time. Three pitches on the mound, ready to go. Judge, Judge is shutting everybody down, bro. Now that sink to that fastball, come on touching him. Apparently he was throwing knuckleballs too. I'm like, let's go, dude. We won in like four innings, so if uh, he gave up runs, we might have won in five innings. Oh my God, I love catching Judge today. Two hit shutout, 12 nothing. My vote, MVP to Judge today. All right, guys, that's going to be on the video. MVP goes to Andrew Judge, baby! Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll take it. Let's go. MVP, let's go. <laughs> so I woke up one hour before the game, aggressively nauseous. Leo dragged me out of bed. Got up, just dying in the car. Walked on the field and threw a two-hitter. So let's go. So my day went. Well, we look good. We got some good hitters. Let's get some playoff run. Yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the Valley Boys. <laughs> Follow Andrew Judge. That's gonna be the end of the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Woo! Does my hair smell like piss?